We started with clothing people, we started with textiles, we went into developing the textile industry. We then uh, built our refinery, which was really energy security. We solved the problem at that time in terms of uh, India not importing uh, diesel and petrol. Reliance Industries has been a game changer in the Indian markets, disrupting the norms with its innovative and ambitious strategies. From being the first telecom operator to offer unlimited data plans to now relaunching the iconic soft drink brand Campacola at just Rs 5. Reliance has consistently challenged the status quo and set new benchmarks. This conglomerate has a history of revolutionizing industries and bringing about a shift in the market, which has made it one of the most talked about companies in India. Reliance, led by billionaire Mukesh Ambani, has disrupted yet another industry by launching its own line of personal and home care products under its FMCG arm RCPL. Due to this, many experts predict that there may be a price war in the industry as Reliance is offering its products at a 30 to 35 percent lower price than other established brands. Currently, the products are only available in some markets, but Reliance is planning to expand and make them available across the country through various outlets. So how does Reliance plan to disrupt the market? Reliance has set its sight on 210 billion FMCG industry, dominated by the established players such as HUL, PNG, Reckitt and Nestle. RCPL has priced its soaps and detergents lower than leading brands with its Enzo 2-litre front and top load liquid detergent priced at Rs 250 compared to Surf Excelmatic's 2-litre pack at Rs 325. RCPL is building a dealer network across India and has started with a price point of Rs 5, 10 and 15 for dishwashing bars and introduced a rupee 1 sachet of liquid gel in the category. Reliance is expanding its sales network across India to make its product available in more stores, both modern and general trade channels. Experts believe that the success of RCPL's competitive offerings will depend on customer evaluations of product performance, quality and perception compared to established brands. According to Arvind Singhal, the chairman of Technopack Advisors, Reliance is aiming to compete with the market leaders such as HUL Surf and Lux in their respective categories by offering products such as Glimmer Beauty Soaps, Get Real Natural Soaps and Purek Hygiene Soaps at a lower price point of Rs 25 compared to Lux's Rs 34. Single believes that this pricing strategy is a substantial incentive for customers to try RCPL's products. According to Deloitte India consulting partner Rajat Vahi, advancements in technology and the availability of better ingredients and support have made it easier for both new and existing players to develop and launch FMCG brands. However, the real challenge lies in scaling up and reaching the consumers across physical retail particularly the general trade in India, which still represents around 85-87% to 87 of retail for FMCG and consumer products. While e-commerce accounts for only 4-5% to 5 of retail, modern trade accounts for another 8-10%. to 10 All India Consumer Products Distributors Federation President Dhereshil Patil added that for new entrants to succeed, they must have a strong distribution network well-managed supply chain and competitive pricing. He also emphasized the importance of effective marketing and advertising to attract the customers and build brand awareness. To sum it up, Reliance's entry into the FMCG industry with its RCPL subsidiary and competitive price strategy has the potential to disrupt the market and challenge established players with a Pan-India dealer network, RCPL aims to capture a significant share of the 110 billion FMCG market. It remains to be seen how Reliance's foray into the FMCG industry will play out, but it is certainly an exciting development to watch for in the Indian market.